I think the uh, central banking community will act differently. Uh, there was developing the view that if you only kept inflation low and stable, uh, the economy would behave well. But now there's a much greater understanding of the various things that can happen in the financial system that uh, will be very dangerous. My guess is that uh, we will continue to focus on, with regard to inflation, on the current inflation targeting approach to uh, monetary policy, but that we will be developing and beginning to understand which are the best arrangements for dealing with the financial stability of the financial system as a whole, uh, rather than individual institutions, which is what has been done so far. Do you think the ECB should be the sole stabilizator of the euro? No, I think there are important uh, fiscal actions which are involved in uh, keeping the uh, euro stable and keeping the euro area stable financially that uh, require government intervention as well. In the United States there have been several banks going bankrupt the last uh, few years, uh, in Holland only one. Do you think a central bank uh, should help an insolvent institution? How should they uh, decide that? If an institution is insolvent, it needs to be uh, taken over and reorganized or closed down, both. Uh, I mean, one or the other. And uh, that's the job of either the central bank or the uh, financial supervisor, depending on the laws of the country. But you cannot let an insolvent institution continue to run without uh, dealing with the problems that caused it to be insolvent in the first place. What happened to the political power of the banks? <laughs> It seems that, uh, judging by the current campaign against raising capital requirements for big banks and so forth, that their political power remains very strong. Uh, do you think the ECB is powerful enough? This is a, a, a very complicated issue because it's a, an issue that relates to how different countries in the euro area relate to the power of the central bank. And clearly there are some countries which wanted to be much more powerful. There are others which wanted to be strictly constrained. And uh, my, my own view is it could have somewhat more power. You do not want it to get to the situation you raised previously of being the main stabilizing agent for the entire euro area.